makers of the popular remedy Airborne are going to pay back more than $23 million to consumers to settle a class action lawsuit. The lawsuit was filed because of a GMA investigation that questioned Airborne's claims that it could prevent or cure the common cold. Consumer correspondent Elizabeth Leamy broke the story about Airborne and joins us live from Washington with an update. Good morning, Elizabeth. Morning, Robin. Americans spend $300 million a year on these fizzy tablets created by a school teacher. Airborne's incredible popularity is why we chose to take a hard look at the product. <laughs> Germs are everywhere. Airborne is everywhere, too. Many consumers swear by it. Airborne's awesome. It works. It does. But the Center for Science in the Public Interest disagrees and joined a class action lawsuit accusing Airborne of false advertising. The thing that bothers us most about Airborne is that it doesn't work. An Airborne ad testimonial called it a miracle cold buster, and a company press release boasted it would get rid of most colds in one hour. When we sat down with the CEO for our original investigation, she backpedaled. I would never sit here and tell you that it's a cure for the common cold. You said airborne is not a cure for the common cold. Did I get that right? We don't know if airborne is a, common, is a cure for the common cold. Airborne told us its product supports your immune system and offered the following evidence. We have a clinical study, a double-blind placebo-controlled study. So we went to the Florida address of the company that conducted that study. Do you conduct clinical trials here? Are you going to be kidding me? Turns out it was a two-man operation started up just to do the airborne study. One of the men claimed to have a degree from Indiana University, but the school told us he never graduated. Airborne is a waste of money. At best, it's an extraordinarily expensive vitamin C delivery system. Airborne says it's settled to avoid further distraction and left this recording for customers. Defendants deny any wrongdoing or illegal conduct, but have agreed to settle the litigation. But Airborne is not finished answering questions. The Federal Trade Commission and several states are now investigating whether to punish the company further. Have you taken your Airborne? Dietary supplements like Airborne do not have to prove that they work as long as they don't make specific claims. Airborne now uses much blander language on its packaging, but of course it became a blockbuster with the old language, Robin. It sure did, and there's some people that still, they swear by it. They say it really works for them, but how do consumers, sure do. How do consumers if you want to get your money back, how do you go about doing that? Pretty amazing settlement, actually. If you have your receipts, you can get your money back for all the Airborne you have ever purchased. Without receipts, you can still get a refund for up to six packages, which would be a total of $63. That you have ever purchased? That's right. All right, Elizabeth. Yeah, amazing. It is. Well, thank you so much. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to abcnews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.